Yo, what y'all thinking about the, uh, while I'm getting this done? What y'all think about this background, though? Keep it a buck. What y'all thinking? And the white noises is kind of, all right, bro, y'all gonna piss me off. They've been begging me for how long to get a new mic. I get a $300 mic, and now are saying, we don't like this mic. You know what, bro? All right, y'all, W-Stream. This is the new mic. If you don't with the mic, suck the skin off my I don't care. They've been begging me to get a new mic. I get a new mic. Just saying, bro, we miss the white noise. We miss all type of shit. We miss hearing the fan of your PC. Like, bro, just enjoy the new shit. You feel what I'm saying? This is a studio mic. But we got a new mic. I hope y'all hope y'all with the background. Twitch, I hope you know this isn't a real, there's no real dead bodies. This right here is fake. It's gray. You can tell it's not really that color. That arm right there is plastic. This is spider webs and a fake skull right here. I didn't actually kill nobody to get this skull. So you don't have to sit right there and try and get me gone. It's just Halloween. We got some LED lights in the background. And we got a foot. Yo, that was crazy. Yo, that was insane. I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy. No, my fault, bro. That was that was crazy. That was, that's on me. That's on me, y'all. That's on me. I got 25 gifted for you if my parlay hits. Let's go! You say you better off the NASA's onto the Kumbo. Holy f that payroll is about to actually disintegrate. The day that uh, that the NASA's onto the Kumbo drops 50 is the day I will retire from streaming. Uh, if y'all remember Ryan from 1700, I gave him a feature yesterday. All right, are y'all ready to hear this song? Or should I play it later? Play the song? All right, back. <laughs> Not tough. Nigga, I gave him four bars. He had the rest. Most of that is him. That's his song. Just asked for a quick verse. That was me in the middle. Y'all can't tell me my shit wasn't fire. Nigga, nigga said I came back. Oh, I did my verse right here. Regardless. Should we drop that? That was a quick little preview. You know, gonna troll regardless. I don't give a shit. I have fun making that shit. That's why I got this mic. Me and him got some more songs coming out. I don't care. I ain't gonna lie. Auntie listened to that shit. She said that shit was hard. I don't care. This nigga said you a streamer. You ain't catch nobody before traffic. You do realize life before. This nigga called me. Hold on. Why you FaceTime me? This that, this that Ryan right here. Yo. What they think, bro? They said that shit fire. They got 53 out, out, on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the pole. Nigga said that shit tough. They said they wanna drop it. All right, bet when we gonna drop that down on SoundCloud, nigga? You said video. Hold on. Apple Music. All right, bet. All right, y'all, we gonna drop it. All right, bro. All right. Is that a fair, nigga? <laughs> nigga said Apple Music. Nigga, hold on, nigga, make a mu music video. Hold on, nigga. I got that. Who got that much money for that? <laughs> nigga said make a music video. Hold on, man. Do you think? Uh, you could survive the It movie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, right? This is a question right here. Um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I personally don't think there's any horror movie, movie villain that can take me out. Now, a lot of y'all be like, I've already talked about this maybe four times. 
But there's a reason why I really believe that. And let me explain. Now, look, I already explained. Hold on. Y'all saying cap. Check me out. I'm going to start from low tier all the way up. First one we got is Jason. I mean, not Jason. Chucky. I don't give a f if he's a three foot doll with the strength of a grown ass man. If Chucky lined up in front of me, what's the what's the kicker? What's the field goal kicker on the Ravens? I will punt that so far. I would do a field goal record for a 99 yard field goal and smooth punt his mother ass all the way across the football field. Because if I told that Chucky, yo, I said, put your hands down. Let's throw a 60. F the knives. All that, Cause I have a switch. I'm not worried about that little ass knife. Cause you short, which means I can aim and take off your legs, take off your arms, take off your head, take off your eyebrows easily. I don't care if you're immortal. You can be born back. Every time you would knock on my door, I would wake up. Just keep my underwear and my tank top on to take you out. Cause I know you're not really a threat. So I won't even be worried about Chucky. He's easy work. He's three foot tall, if that, ten pounds, and he has the strength as a grown man. I'm a grown man. What are we talking about? He can't do. Now he was seven foot. That's something different. He can do something with me. This is three foot tall. Tomorrow he got the strength as a grown man. Me too. So if I said run this 60, I know he's not going to want to, so I'm going to smoke him. He's easy work. Now, next one up is Michael Myers. I'm going to tell y'all why I don't believe Michael Myers is really a threat. Now, let me Google Michael Myers' uh, stat line right quick. Uh, how tall this is? This nigga six foot seven. Okay, listen, he might be a little bit of a threat. A lot, the, re <laughs> the reason why... <laughs> oh, this nigga six foot seven. Listen, the reason why a lot of these be a little bit of a threat is because they have weapons. If I told Michael Myers, put the knife down, throw these... I always say, throw how many times do I tell y'all? Throw these, please. Please throw these. If I said, Michael Myers, put the knife that mic down, let's throw these. Right? I'm trying to tell y'all. They don't have the boxing capability like I do. So I'm going to go boom right down. I have a lower center of gravity. So me and him, I'm like Mike Tyson against him. Against like like another tall. Like Mike Tyson only like 5'11". So I'm going to be short. He has to reach down to my center of gravity. Boom, right to the right to the body. Drop him one time. Drop his hands. Boom, I told you. Right to the ribs. Boom. A lot of these don't really be, be moving like that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm going I'm I'm to say, I'm going to say low diff, mid diff, no diff, high diff. For Michael Myers, I'm going to say high diff to take him out. You know what I'm saying? Michael Myers is high diff. Now, besides that, y'all saying bro has never ran this movie. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Now, Michael Myers, we're going to come back to it. Let's talk about uh Freddy Krueger. Now, I'm going to say low diff for Freddy Krueger. He's not really a threat. You have to understand something. This is my dream. Freddy Krueger is not a threat. So, in my dreams, a lot of times, I be butt naked in my dreams. I told y'all this. So, first of all, it's false for him, because what he gonna do, come after me, and he gonna see my swinging in my dream? I be butt naked a lot of times in my dreams, I don't know why. Now, besides that, since it's my dream, all I have to do is dream of this not existing. Or if he does exist in my dream, I can sit right there, lucid dream my shit, pull out the biggest gun he ever seen in his life, and blow his whole life wide open. Because he don't exist in real life. Does he ever, he doesn't, Reddy Krueger does not exist in real life, only your dreams. Nigga, this is my brain. So I'm gonna pull out a shotgun. I'm gonna have so many shotguns, it's gonna be like, God damn, I'm gonna put some holes in nigga, I'm gonna be right, walk right through. Now, Jason. Now, Freddy Krueger low diff. Jason, maybe mid diff. I don't really have a problem with Jason. Because we depend on we depend we depend on what type of Jason we talking about. Are we talking about the little kid, Jason? When he was like <laughs> when he hopped out the water? Or are we talking about Jason Voorhees with the knife coming around the tree, stabbing a nigga in his stomach? And we talking about that Jason? Come on. Think about it. The head he knocked off. Remember the movie? Boom. Right? There's a reason why Jason wouldn't be able to do that to me. I fight like Floyd Mayweather. Y'all don't know that. I have a lot of defensive capabilities. The nigga that, that was boxing Jason, he knocked his head smooth off. I have, I have Floyd Mayweather defensive abilities. So I will show the roll. Come over. Boom. Roll with the punch. Look, he going to throw an overhand right. Boom. Shoulder roll it. Slip it off. Boom. Right uppercut. He going to come with the left because he already threw the right. Woo. Slip that. Boom. Right to the stomach. Then he going to throw one more right hand. Straight. Woo. Slip that. Jab pull. Boom. 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 Y'all are always saying one machete slice, one knife slice this. Put the, the knives down. Put the weapons down and let's see what you can do with these and even if you do come with a knife a machete i don't care i have a switch i have a 10 milli with a switch put the knife down and do use these though and if he do have a knife name one time you seen it in, in friday the 13th shoot jason they don't be shooting this they don't shoot this he gotta work the body see he not jabbing jabbing but he not working the body though that's his problem work the body work the body there you go, work the body. Us, 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 Uppercut, get an uppercut. Keep your stamina. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, nigga, got that. Hold on, listen. Listen, okay, listen, I wasn't expecting that. See? Here's the thing. Low key, that's a little bit of a cheap shot.
Now, the reason why I think that's a little bit of a cheap shot, when he said, boom, he let him get a, 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 a good shot on him. Jason would have to hit me. Can't hit me, I'm too fast. Who else we got? Leatherface? Smoking him, because he's a regular human being. He just was fed. Oh yeah, I'm blowing his head smooth off. Leatherface, blowing his head smooth off. Pinhead, who you calling Pinhead? I don't even know what, what, uh, what's his power. Pennywise? The reason why I can survive it, because I'm not scared of no man. So, the Pennywise would be like, you wanna come down here? You wanna come down here? I'm gonna say, what you talking about? Nigga, come up out there then. I wouldn't be scared. So, Pennywise wouldn't have nothing to do with me because I wouldn't be scared. I have a switch on me. That's what y'all have to realize. I have a switch. So, how can I be scared when I have a switch? The switch makes me feel invisible. So, if the down there talking about, come down here, you, are you gonna play with this toy? I'm gonna say, nigga, you wanna play with this switch, my nigga? I'm not scared of this. I'm not scared of no man. I don't care what he is. I don't care if he's not a man. I don't care if he's a snake. I don't care if he's my worst fear. I'm not scared of nothing. I was broke. What are we talking about? Nigga, I was broke before. I'm not scared of nothing. I'm gonna look that nigga like, nigga, you's a bitch. Donated $3. Pennywise, would diddy you stop lying? Come on, bro, stop. What y'all saying? Xenomorph? Nigga, I can't fight a alien. That's not a horror movie. You stupid fuck. Leprechaun? Smoking that nigga. Ghostface? Smoking that Because they found out Ghostface was a regular with three with a suit on. Smoking that with a switch. And GTRP. What can they do to a switch with a 50 round drum and GTRP? What can they do against that? You can't do nothing against that. If I was in Jaws, I would turn that shark meat into a fish fillet sandwich with a switch. I defeating a girl from the ring. What can she do to me? That's a girl. That's what I have my girl from. And we sitting right there watching the movie. And I see some scary b come out the TV with a wig hanging down her face. Crawling out my TV. First of all, I'm going to put so many holes on my TV, you're going to think we had a drive in movie theater. And then, if she able to survive it, I'm gonna say, hey, auntie, go ahead and whoop that, man. And you better not get your ass whooped, because I'm gonna throw both of y'all right to the TV if you do. Interrupting my movie time, my neck time, and you crawling through this TV, I'm about to switch your ass. Now, I ain't gonna lie. That movie, The Ring, was creepy as fuck when that bitch go, I'm not gonna lie. That shit was terrifying. <laughs> when that bitch be like, I ain't gonna lie. That shit is terrifying. I'm gonna keep it a buck. That's the grudge. Same thing. The Ring, the grudge. I don't give a who it is. At the end of the day, I got 50 bullets with each name on all for these motherfuckers DTRP. I'm just saying, there's no nigga in, in, in the movie theaters that can kill me. I don't care what scary movie it is. Hey, Uncle Bank, in your opinion, what are some despicable fast food places and restaurants people shouldn't go? Great question. The very first one I'm always going to say is Arby's. We have the meats. Come on, my nigga. Look at this sandwich right here. No cheese. No mayonnaise. A top bun. 18 pieces of meat? With sesame seeds? That shit is nasty as fuck! I've never seen a n walk into Arby's and walk out that b with a smile on their face. Never have in my entire life. Name one time you seen a n walk into Arby's, walk out that b like, mmm, I just had me a good old meal. I don't even know what Arby's, what their menu is. I don't even know! The one time I seen Arby's in my life, I swear I can't make this up. I took Auntie, she went and got her nails done. I paid for it, of course. I see her walking with a coffee. I'm like, oh, what you hit, Starbucks or some shit? She said, nah, I got a coffee from Arby's. I said, hey, man, you know there's pneumonia in that shit. <laughs> I said, hey, man, you know there's pneumonia in that shit, right? So you know you're drinking some shit. It tastes good to me. Next day, nigga's stomach was hurting. Like, look at this shit right here. You go to Arby's, right? And you eat some like this. Come on, gang. I know a couple bitches that look like this. What are we talking about? Arby's, number one off the list. Now, my personal opinion is a lot of niggas be like, McDonald's this, McDonald's that, McDonald's is nasty, whippity wham boom. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. If you are one of those ass that stay talking about McDonald's, Always be like, bro, I don't like McDonald's. I don't like McDonald's. Shut the f up, you ass. Everybody f with McDonald's. They breakfast, top tier. McDonald's is super gas. I love the chicken nuggets, the, the 10 piece. You feel me? I f McDonald's. McDonald's is crazy good. They they have they might have the best fries in the game. I know I'm gonna get flack for this, and I know is gonna get mad at me for this, but me personally, and I've said this before, I feel like Chipotle is overrated as f I don't like Chipotle. I feel like that shit is nasty. Chipotle is like a D tier for me, maybe F. I don't f with Chipotle. When they first came out, they was fire. When they first came out, 2013, 2014, then started getting E. coli. Next thing you know, don't eat that no more. Start realizing this is nasty. In my personal opinion, my personal opinion. Never had it, don't eat that shit. Chipotle is good. It, 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 it depends on when your big ass is eating that shit. I ain't gonna lie. It really depends. Don't eat Chipotle, my That's just terrible. After that, oh my stomach is bubbling, my stomach is bubbling, my stomach is bubbling, my stomach is bubbling, my stomach is bubbling. Carl Jr., pretty decent. Burger King is good, I would say, like, every, like, three weeks. Every, like, three months, actually. Now, listen, Burger King, actually, in my opinion, has the absolute best breakfast of any fast food restaurant. If you ever had they French toast sticks with the hash brown jumps, with the orange juice, 
They have the best fast food restaurant breakfast, in my personal opinion. McDonald's is right behind. I I'm only talking about their, their French toast sticks. I ain't say nothing else. I didn't say no, 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 no. Big Mac, I mean, not Big Mac. I ain't say no Whopper meal. I didn't say none of that. Y'all not listening. Then y'all go jumping on, hopping on, and start taking it right up the ass. You really gre greasing yourself up and taking dick right in the booty hole right now. I literally just said their French toast sticks, their breakfast. I didn't say nothing else. Niggas start saying, you don't like, you don't like the fries. I didn't say anything about that. Listen to what I said. Stop getting ready to bounce your, your, your ass on my Hold on. I said the French toast sticks is delicious. Best breakfast of any every uh, bur uh, any uh, fast food restaurant, in my personal opinion. Now, they always burn the f*** out my French toast sticks. Jesus, boy. Now, I do like they chicken fries. I don't eat burgers from Burger King because for some reason, I feel like they might be selling me hippopotamus toast. So I don't eat their burgers. And I don't eat no Whopper meals or nothing like that. You feel what I'm saying? I do not eat their, their burgers and shit like that. That shit is nasty. Now, besides that, Taco Bell used to be trash. I remember when niggas said Taco Bell wasn't real meat. And niggas was showing videos of them taking the meat out the bag. I didn't used to eat Taco Bell. One day, like 2019, I had Taco Bell. I had um a quesadilla from them motherfuckers. Two of them, that's it. Put a little bit of the mild hot sauce on it. I said, hold on. This shit actually delicious. In my personal opinion, I feel like Taco Bell is fire. I give it the beats here. But you can only get Taco Bell between the hours of 12.30 to like 4.30 a.m. If you get it in the middle of the day, uh, your diet is fucked up. If you get it for lunch, nigga, you, nigga, you need help. You can only eat that shit late night. That's when that shit hit the most. You feel what I'm saying? But McDonald's, listen, I used to be a chicken mix crispy nigga. I used to be a Big Mac nigga. Not really a Big Mac. Maybe a double cheeseburger or some shit or the chicken nuggets. For some reason, chat, let me ask me if this, is, if this is crazy right here. This is my McDonald's order from DoorDash every time. Let me know if this is crazy. For some reason, listen, when y'all get off this stream, go and eat this shit. This shit smack. For some reason, McChickens, I don't know why. Them motherfuckers is smacking that with hate. I used to hate McChickens after a certain time. I was like, this shit nasty, bro. McChickens are smacking it. Yo, I don't know what's so good about McChickens, nigga. Them shits are good as I get a hot and spicy McChicken. Large french fry. Add two strips of bacon on that with a sweet tea. Then you get an Oreo McFlurry. Add the M&M Mc uh, topping, high fudge topping, and extra crushed Oreo. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god, boy. Oh my god, boy. Oh my god, boy. Oh my god, boy. That's smacking, my nigga. I don't know what's so good about McChickens. I don't know why. McChickens, nowadays, them shits are so good. And it's like, damn, ease up on the mayonnaise a little bit. But for the most part, I actually ordered Auntie the other day a, a McChicken with nothing on it. <laughs> I ordered her a McChicken. That had no lettuce. No mayonnaise, no nothing. It was just a chicken patty and two pieces of flat ass bread. <laughs> bro, I looked over her ass for smacking that shit. She ate that shit in three bites. I said, holy fuck, nigga. The nigga said, I'm getting the cast in that meal for stream. Nigga, I ain't eating that shit. The chicken Big Mac? Nigga, I don't want McDonald's today. They get all my nuts, nigga. I don't want that shit. Wendy's? I'm gonna say top tier. My personal opinion. I think Wendy's is, is hard. I fuck with Wendy's. You feel me? Wendy's to me is cool. I like Wendy's. I say Wendy's is B tier. I, I fuck with their shit. I fuck with it. Hey, man, I don't like this window open. This shit kind of scary, cuz. Um, Chick fil A. I say Chick Fil A is like C tier, bro. Long John Silver's, I don't even know that shit existed. You must live in Alabama. Um, Domino's is up there. Five guys. Wait, what did I say wrong? Long John Silver's is tough. Chick Fil A is number one. What are we in high school? Chick Fil A is good, but when it's steaming hot, when that shit get a little bit of cold, I'd rather eat a tire. Little Caesars, I ain't got no money. That's the I ain't got no money, but I'm still having a date night with my girl ass meal. You can always taste Little Caesars. When is it straight? Five guys, I get beat. Be, 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 be. Dairy Queen, who the f eats that? Jollibee's, that's some. KFC, some. Shit, I don't eat that shit. I had that shit one time, haven't had it since. Popeye, for some reason, that shit makes you feel sick nowadays. Like, you eat Popeye, for some reason, it just makes you feel like your, your immune system is shutting down. Like, it's too much grease. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, Popeye is still good, but it's like, you eat it, it's like your, your, your arms start hurting right here. I eat Popeye, for some reason, it's like your arm don't want to move no more. It's like something is clogging your arm. Like, I get a pain right here. I'm like, am I having a heart attack at 23? I can't lift my motherfucking arm up in this. Ah. I don't know. I just feel like Popeye's. Come on, bro. Jollibee's so good. Church of Chicken. Nah, I don't fuck with Jollibee's, nigga. Um, Quiznos. That shit still exists, nigga? Wingstop for me is like C tier. I don't really fuck with Wingstop too much. Wingstop is cool. Shake Shack. That shit, that shit clogs my, my throat. Pause. I don't know. I don't even know if Quiznos still exists. Jack in the Box. That's some shit when you first move like somewhere and you like, damn, I want to try Jack in the Box. You eat that shit straight for one year and then after that it gives you like fucking brain clogging so you don't eat it no more. I don't eat Jack in the Box no more. Very rarely would I get Jack in the Box and that shit used to hurt but nowadays that shit make my stomach hurt. Dave's Hot Chicken. Oh, Checkers? Checkers is, is, some, is some East Coast shit. I fuck with Checkers heavy. Burger Shack. I don't even know what it is. Panda Express. Panda Express is good. I only get the orange chicken with fried rice. I don't get nothing else. Orange chicken, fried rice. What the fuck is burger fry? Pan Express, I say it's like B tier, C, B or C tier, depends on the day. You feel what I'm saying? But only orange chicken fried rice. 
Simple. That's all I get. I never got nothing else from Panda Express. But niggas say Hardee's, man. Shut the fuck up. What's your top 10 of all time basketball players, all eras? I'm about to cook right now. I just actually a tier list on my YouTube video on my YouTube channel from like over a year ago. I'm gonna go LeBron James. I'm gonna go Mike Jack. I mean Michael <laughs> Mike Jordan. I'm gonna go Michael Jordan. No order. No order. No order. I'm gonna go Bron. I'm gonna go Michael Jordan. I'm gonna go Shaq. I'm gonna go Timmy. I'm gonna go uh this is no order. Let me cook. I'm gonna go Kareem. I'm gonna go Kobe. Oof. I need three more. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, this is no order. I'm not worried about saying Kobe. Nigga, I always feel like people disrespecting Kobe. I have no order. Y'all not listening. I, this is in no order. This is just what I think, nigga. Would you rather live in Gotham for a month or spend a night during the purge? I'll keep it a buck, bro. I would rather, uh, nigga said nigga finish the list. Nigga, I don't know. Nigga, suck my ball sack, you bitch ass, nigga. I feel like I would rather live in Gotham for a month. Because LA is basically Gotham. Trenches is basically Gotham. You mind your business, stick to you. You might get robbed or two, but as long as you got to switch, you ain't got shit to do. And y'all saying spend the night during the purge is, you listen, a lot of you niggas don't have switches. A lot of you niggas don't know how to use switches. So if a nigga break in your house and switch a rule, your mom, your dad in front of you, you can't do shit. So y'all saying I would rather be in the purge. So if a nigga break in your house, a crazy nigga break in your house to smoke your bitch ass, what you gonna do? Fuck that nigga. I don't want to be in the purge. Fuck that shit. Nigga say I live in a trailer. I don't want to be in the purge. I mean, if I would be in the purge, I'd probably be doing some crazy shit like robbing niggas and shit. I don't know. What would I actually do in the purge? That's actually a great question. I genuinely don't know. Niggas, I gotta get at least two bodies. Holy fuck. If I was in the purge, I think I might be carrying an AK-47 or like a G36C. And I feel like, for some reason, I think I would just be on top of a building just popping niggas for no reason. I think I gotta catch at least at least 15 bodies. I gotta have a 15 in the OKD that night. I don't know what I would be doing. And GTRP for sure. That's a crazy question to ask. What you would be doing during... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The purge is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's just some hot shit. Nigga, niggas getting smoked and dying and shit. Man, I'm cool, gang. I ain't gonna lie. What is the best Pixar movies of all time? Let me see Pixar's catalog right quick. I'm gonna go Cars, number one. I'm gonna throw... This is my top ten. I'm gonna go Cars, Monsters, Inc., Ratatouille, Incredibles, Wally, Toy Story. No order. No order. Finding Nemo. Everything else is some bullshit. I didn't watch Frozen. I always thought that was for little girls. Never in my life have I ever watched Frozen. I don't know. I never watched anything else. I don't even think Frozen is Pixar. I think that's just Disney. I watched Frozen like a little bit of it when I was like 13. I felt like it was gay, so I turned that shit off. I like watching shit with like real messages in that shit. Nigga said Bolt. I think Bolt was cool. Bolt was straight. You feel me? I don't think that's crazy to say that. I watched a little bit of Frozen. I said, man, this shit feel a little gay, man. Turn that shit off, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But that's the best Pixar movies of all time for me. I feel like top three... It's probably Ratatouille, Monsters, Inc., and Cars. I feel like that's top three. I mean, Toy Story was cool, but how many more times can niggas keep playing with their toys? Like, eventually, I'm like, all right, I'm watching Toy Story. I said, all right, one, two, three, four. Like, all right, my nigga, I ain't even watch the fourth one. How many more times can you keep sitting right there having a, a story about toys, my nigga? Like, they dragging Toy Story. I'm like, all right, bro, relax. I'm going to say Monsters, Inc., Cars, Ratatouille. I'm going to say that's my top. No, Monsters, Inc., Incredibles, Cars. Monsters, Inc., Incredibles, Cars. That's the most top, like, I don't think Madagascar is Pixar, y'all. Are y'all dumb? Is Madagascar Pixar? Nigga, that's DreamWorks, you stupid nigga. Y'all niggas sitting right just talking some bullshit, man. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> nigga said, what are you doing if the conjuring happens to you? Can't switch your way out of this one, Banks. Uh, nigga, I would be dead. What are we talking about? This nigga said, what would you do if, if you got possessed? What, I'm gonna, what, what can I do? What, what type of question is that? Like, uh, what? Nigga, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, which generation do you think is the best? Generation Alpha, Gen Z, Gen X, or Baby Boomers? <laughs> Uh, I don't really give a shit, nigga. I got bills, so I don't pay attention to bullshit like that. You feel me? But nigga said, how can I go about getting played from a junk who lost everything because of the hurricane? All right, bro. What is you and auntie's love language? I know my love language. Um, I like physical touch, but sometimes I'm like, I break it off me, though. Like, for some reason, I remember one time, I was sitting right there. She came up to me. She was trying to give me a hug or some shit. And I was like, hold on, man. The light's too bright. <laughs> I said some bullshit excuse. I don't know what it was. Like, she was trying to hug me or some shit. I was like, hold on, man. The light too bright. And I just moved out the way. And she knew I just didn't want to be touched because she was like, what the fuck does that mean? The light too bright. I was like, hold on, man. The light too bright. Hold on, get off me, though. For some reason, and, and for some reason, sometimes bro, I just don't want to be touched, bro. I don't know what it is. I be like, hold on, man. Get off me, though. I, is, is that fucked up? Be honest. Is that fucked? It's like sometimes, bro, you just don't want to be touched. I don't know what it is. He's like, hold on, man. Get off me, though. Y'all saying, yeah, a little. No, not like that. Not on some fuck shit like you that mad. It's just like, bro. Sometimes you just don't. You be like, hold on, no. Is that crazy? No, sometimes I just need your space. I don't know what it is. That's my love language. I like physical touch. Like, rub my head. Nigga, rub my back. You know what I'm saying? Rub up on me. How is my camera getting hot already, bro? We've only been live for an hour. It's about to start doing that dumb shit. Sometimes I go, hold on, man. I don't want to be touched up. But I say physical touch. I would say I do like words of affirmation. And I would say neck. W. Ray, W. Ray. My boyfriend do not like me touching him. He must just hate your ass. If I have a girl, I want her to touch me. He might not like women, that's what I'm saying. No, he just don't like her. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Your boyfriend don't like touching you. Jesus, boy. 
Nigga, I ain't a therapist. Nigga, that's fucked up. Why would you tell me your boyfriend don't like touching you? And you know I'm gonna say some hot shit to that too, too. Why would you admit that to someone like me? That nigga just don't like you. Oh, I thought that was a real spider for a second. I forgot this shit was fake. Boy, that shit was on my arm. I thought this motherfucker bit me. The fuck is wrong with that shit? I put my arm in that shit. That shit hurt, nigga. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that shit motherfucking hurt. Can peer pressure be a good thing? Uh, nigga, no. I wish, I wish somebody would try to peer pressure me. If a nigga try to peer pressure me, I'm gonna punch that nigga in the stomach. Never in your life try to make me do something I already told your bitch ass I don't wanna do. I'm gonna go boom right in the stomach, nigga, and make you throw up all your food, nigga. Talking about it's peer pressure, good thing. If I told you I don't wanna do something, don't try to keep making me do it, cause I'm gonna punch you in your stomach and make you throw up everything. Cause, bro, I just. And one thing that people try to peer pressure a lot is drugs. Like, people are like, bro, just do a line, bro, just do a line. It's gonna feel good, bro, just do shrooms, bro, just do this. I already told your bitch ass, I don't wanna do that. Why do you keep trying to offer me drugs? I'm about to slap the shit out of you. Stop telling me to do shit because it makes you feel good. Nigga, that's you. I don't want to do that. My way of feeling good is getting money. I don't want to do shrooms. Oh, the colors will be brighter. Oh, you'll feel happier. Your ego. Well, then you do it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do psychedelics and shit. I don't want to do that. Why do you keep trying to tell me the good things of the day makes you feel? If you keep telling me that, I'm telling you I'm going to open hand slap the shit out your molar out your shit. Stop telling me to do shit. I'm telling you I don't want to do it. Don't try to tell me to do no drugs. Don't try to convince me saying it makes you feel this. Well, you don't know how it's going to go in my brain. I might start tweaking out. Talking about, well, if you do a little bit, it's not going to make you tweak out. It'll make you actually feel good. Well, you want to feel bad because I'm going to punch you in your stomach. When they, when they, people try, I hate when people try to convince you to keep trying to tell you to do some drugs or do something like that. Like, bro, get the fuck out of my face. I don't want to do that shit, boy. I, I don't think I'm ridiculous for saying that. I just don't like to do drugs, but I do not like doing I don't want to do drugs. I don't want to shrooms. I don't want coke. I don't want fucking molly. I don't want none of that shit. I just want to just be chilling. I want to get some money. Like, what are we talking about? Okay, a little bit of gas ever since I'm saying get my meat. All right, something different. But if you mean to tell me that you want to keep making me try to do some shit? Talking about it makes you feel good. You'll start seeing stars and colors and shit. Why the fuck would I want to do some shit that's fuck on my brain chemistry? Next, you know, I try to do like a psychedelic. Nigga, try, nigga convinced me to do DMT. Next, you know, I wake up. I'm a fucking tree or some shit. Next, you know, I come back to life. It felt like I was a tree for eternity. Nigga was like, bro, you was only tweaking for five minutes. For the rest of my life, my brain's gonna be fucked up from that. I already know that. I'm gonna be derealized, nigga. That's why I don't even like smoking Zai. Because when, when, when I smoke, so I start getting derealized. I start seeing myself in third person. I start looking at myself like, bro, how did you even become famous on TikTok? How did you become a famous streamer? Like, bro, all you did was yap about shit. It started making me get in my head and made me start thinking about shit I don't want to think about. That's why I don't smoke that shit. I be in the bed like, bro, you're not even supposed to be here in this nice apartment with this, with this Hellcat. It started making me feel like, what the fuck? That's why I don't like smoking that shit. Because after a couple of hours, it started giving me weird feelings in the back of my head. I'm like, bro, this shit making me derealized, nigga. You might trying to keep smoking that shit. I don't think that's why, nigga. I think, I see, certain drugs, bro, it's just not for certain people. And that's why I don't know. For me, I, ain't, I just don't want to smoke that shit, man.